Are you ready? Are you ready for the comeback? Yeah. Uh. Are you ready for the comeback? You know we the ones that ready for whatever. We gon' have to show them some man. Let me see them hands up all the way front back. You don't understand that I'm doing what you can with no cap. Huh. This is the return of the one. You ain't see him coming, you just heard drums. They've been ready for the battle. Any person that comes got the weight of the world on them. Yeah, they're too strong. I might have been down, not out. It's on sight, you gon' figure that out. And I might have been down, not out. Only one thing I gotta know now is, are you ready for the comeback? Yeah. Are you ready for the? Huh? Are you ready for the comeback? You know we don't want that. Let me see them hands up on the way front back. Yeah, it's the comeback. Are you ready for the comeback? Now I see you with your best self. If you into taking nails and I can't help I'll be the self-made champ, look at my belt I built this all from the ground up, this all by myself, y'all know? This is the return of the one You ain't see him coming, you just heard drums They been ready for the battle, any person that comes Got the weight of the world on them, yeah, they're too strong I might have been down, not out It's on sight, you gon' figure that out And I might have been down, not out Only one thing I gotta know now So are you ready for the comeback? It's a beautiful night for high school football here in Wampa, Canada. It's time for Wampa, Canada High School Football on TSC. I'm Big Dan Wilson, and tonight's game is being brought to you by the following. Merritt Real Estate. Allen Davis Insurance Agency. Elevation Chiropractic, Miller's Corral, Minster Bank, Flexarm, GA Windsor and Son, State Farm Insurance, Home Savings Bank, Auglaze Audiology, Kill RV Service, Dad's Toy Shop and Wilson One Communications. Hello again, everyone, and it is a beautiful night for high school football. Big Dan Wilson alongside of Josh Bishop for week number four already of high school All football right. action here on TSC. It's the Wabakoneta Redskins in their cross-county rivals, the St. Mary's Rough Riders. Rough Riders coming into this game 0-3, Wapak with their first win last week on the road at OG. So it's nice to be back in the safe confines of the Wapakoneta High School football field. <laughs> right, yes, Dan. Uh, last week we were in a, a territory of the OG Titans, and what happened was we went in there and took their home. And tonight we're back against our bitter rivals, but we love them. But, you know, we still hate them. <laughs> you know, that's the kind of thing we do. It's a love-hate relationship, and uh, tonight's going to be a barn burner. I mean, we're 1-2, and two, they're 0-3, so this is going to be, uh, you're going to see the best of St. Mary's tonight. I would hope so. It's a great crowd on hand tonight, and our hats off to all the pink that you see out there today. We're uh, celebrating, if you will, the life of Jersey Poff. Jersey, who unexpectedly passed away, an 11-year-old that uh, caught the hearts and minds of everyone here in Glaze County. So our thoughts and prayers to the Paw family. The opening kickoff will go out of the end zone, and St. Mary's will take over first and 10 from their 20-yard line. I want to thank our sponsors for tonight's contest, as always. Merritt Real Estate, Allen Davis Insurance Agency, Elevation Chiropractic, Miller's Corral, Minster Bank, Flex Machine Tools, GA Windsor & Sons, State Farm Insurance, Home Savings Bank, Auglaze Audiology, Kill RV Service, and Dad's Toy Shop. 
The Rough Riders will come out in that familiar one wide receiver set. We've got motion to the right. It's going to be a handoff right up the gut. And Jacob Kessler on the carry there for St. Mary's with a host of Redskins uh, on the tackle with Truesdale and your big boy Brown and Mike Martin and Dave Martin and Chris Martin and all his brothers and sisters up there with him. Chris, good job. Way to get through there. Now we'll call it a gain of two on the play. It'll bring up second and eight from the 22. Yeah, Chris uh, and that defensive line has been playing really good the last couple weeks. We've got motion to the left, a slot left, toss sweep to the left, and that's number 34, oh. of course. Their big running back, Colton Mabry. And Colton with a nice run down the sideline. He's got enough. And look who it is. He's got number enough five. for the first down. Nate Metzger on the tackle. And Colton Mabry is just a junior, which is he's a, not a big guy, Dan. We got a flag on the play. I, mean, I thought we had holding. I saw it, too. And I was going to call it, but I'm not a ref. So I didn't know what I no, could do. No, that's a legal motion. Oh, legal? So what happened, okay. the, the motion guy who came in in, in the shift, he either didn't continue his motion or he moved too fast. But it's kind of like a legal shift. Right. And so they're going to back it up five yards. The Mabry boy, which you're going to see a lot of him tonight, he's a, he's a stud. He's not a big kid. I mean, tall-wise, but he's thicker than, he's thicker than you uh, a bowling ball. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> It'll bring up second and 12. Back, they're going to back it up. And that was a nice run by Mabry, and that's all taken off the board. St. Mary's under the coaching tutelage, if you will, of Bow Fry. And now we've got another flag on the play. Uh, it yeah. looks like, nope, it's just a timeout on the field. So St. Mary's will take a timeout. And we'll keep it right here. We're not going to take a break this early. It's 11-13 remaining here in the first quarter. First possession of the game, St. Mary's Rough Riders. And I'm sure Coach Fry wants to keep them from uh, one step forward, two steps, steps back, back right. kind of situation. Now, Mabry, he's 5'10", 210 pounds. He's a, your typical St. Mary's fullback. I mean, he can, he, he's fast enough to get outside, and he's tough enough to run inside. So let's talk so. about some of those stats for, uh, for St. Mary's. Yeah, you got uh, Mabry on the year. He's, he's their leading rusher with uh, 264 yards and their 24, Do Dominic Osborne with 151. Mabry's their TD runner. He gets about he's – he's, he, when it's inside the 10, he's getting the ball. And they only, they only have, what, 120-something passes or 20 yards passing? Yeah, they're 120 yards passing on the Unbelievable. year. Unbelievable. All right, we're back at it. Second and 12. From the 18-yard line, and that's that big boy, Mabry, trying to turn the corner and not getting anywhere, but certainly getting back the uh, the, the penalty yardage. Penalty yardage, that's for sure. And we'll Nate Metzger on his second tackle of the night. I feel like he's excited. I would hope so. Well, mark the ball at the 25. It'll bring up third and five for the Rough Riders. Just a beautiful night once again for football. You can't beat it. We got one split wide receiver wide to the left. That very familiar stacked backfield. This time it's going to be a pass. Trying to shoot down the left sideline. Has a man open. And, of course, that was Kessler. Yeah, Kessler on the – and he, he had Wallace. maybe – he had uh, Jarrett Mullins. I don't even know. They were step for step there, and it was uh, – just a tad overshot, but uh, thank goodness that it was. <laughs> they were trying to catch Wapak napping on that one, and he was just running a streak down the uh, left sideline, at least in between the numbers and the sideline, and uh, Walsh just overthrew him. Here's the ensuing punt. It's going to be a fair catch. And Jolly on the fair catch with a great fair catch with a sure-handed Jolly and with uh, – our number 22, uh, one of our favorites there, Jarrett Mullins. So Wapak, like last year, or last week, I should say, started with great field position. Their first possession of the game is going to be at their own 41-yard line. Yeah, we. I mean, last week we started, what, the first six pos uh, possessions on, the in, uh, on our own territory? Unbelievable. It was great. Well, at least in good field position. Yes. 
That second one at their nine kind of helped a little bit. Yes. <laughs> yeah. After the uh, the muffed punt up in OG. But that was last week. This is this week. One wide receiver left. The tight end in motion to the left. It's going to be a handoff to Naus. Naus turning the corner. Ooh. Naus with about a six-yard carry. Naus has been the workhorse for the Wapakoneta offense this year right. so far. We'll call it a gain of five on the play to bring up second and five. And they'll mark the ball at the 46-yard line. Good crowd on hand. Kind of expected that. Crosstown rivals here. St. Mary's in Wapakoneta. Always a good crowd, whether it's here or there. Two wide receiver set, slot left. Naus back there. Hauser in motion to the right. It's going to be a quarterback keeper. And he was caught right at the 47-yard line, but managed to lean forward. And they looks like the nose of the ball will be right at midfield. It will bring up third and short. And Cameron Daymeyer on the tackle. An 11th grade linebacker, 6'3", 215. They like running uh, Travis Moyer, the quarterback. They like running him uh, early on in, in a series. Uh, you know, he, it's an extra blocker. They always say you, if you're running back or quarterback runs, you got an extra block. Slot left. He's going to hand it off to Naus, and Naus is going to try to jump everybody and manages to get the first down. I don't know if that was wise, leaving his feet at that point. but Not uh, with Kevin Perry coming up and hitting you, because Kevin Perry wow. is one of the leading tacklers in the WBL, but he still got the first down, and uh, Naus knew how to get it. So We'll give him credit for that one. First and 10 from the St. Mary's 48-yard line. We've got two wide receivers to the right. Slot left is Hauser. He'll move to the right. Here goes Moyer. He'll roll right, looks, throws, caught. Caden Page. Caden Page on the receiving end once again. And one of your one of your boys there with from St. Mary's, Jacob Kessler. He's been on quite a bit of tackles. Caden Page is the go-to guy, I think, right now at this point, between him and Jolly. But I, I think he likes going to Caden Page a lot. Well, and Caden Page is a big target. I mean, he, he ain't real muscular and tall. Good hands. We talked yes. about that last week. Yes. He has really good, good hands. hands. Really good hands. And he's six foot two. Second and five from the 43 of St. Mary's. Wapak on the move, starting with great field position from their own 41. This is their first possession. There's Moyer over the 40, 35, nice 30, run. inside the 30-yard line. They'll move the chains. Yeah, nice tackle from Noah Dixon, which is maybe it's a uh, touchdown-saving tackle because uh, – uh, Caleb broke a couple tackles to get back to the safeties. And uh, lucky for St. Mary's that Dixon was on the tackle. I think I may have called him Travis earlier. Uh, yeah, well. <laughs> Talking about dad, head coach. But uh, uh, Caleb Moyer does a great job uh, seeing the hole. And he and, really you know, has that little extra and he's got, gear, doesn't he? Yes, he, he does. He, and he's got that top end speed that four, a lot of people like to see. A four wide receiver set showing this time. As Moyer is going to look right, sets up the screen. There's Jolly. Jolly up over to the 25 and wrestled out of bounds. And they're having their way right now. Walpock's just kind of dinking, dunking, and doing what they want, five or six yards or 10 or 20 yards at a pop. And on the tackle was uh, Jacob Kessler. We'll um, call that a gain of seven on the play. It'll bring up second and three, a long three. And go back to Travis. Travis is a good athlete in his day. Two wide receiver set. Hauser going to move to the left. Low snap. Oh. We haven't seen many of those, but Moore picks it up. He's inside the 20, down to about the 17-yard line. He's got enough for a first down, and again, they'll move the chains. Oh, and not on the tackle. I'd like to thank our sponsors for tonight's contest once again, our friends at Merritt Real Estate, Allen Davis Insurance Agency, Elevation Chiropractic, Miller's Corral, Minster Bank, and Flex Machine Tools. Caleb's going to go to the sideline and confer with the offensive coordinator right now at this point, try to figure out what they want to do for the next couple of plays. You got Jolly split out to the left. Page out to the right. Oh. But it's going to be a quarterback keeper, and it looked like maybe there was a little bit of confusion there. Maybe that was supposed to be a handoff to Naus. Looks like a couple 
that the low snap kind of uh, mixed balance. He didn't know really what where to go because it was when he got the ball, he was up and nobody was there, so he just took it on his own and got. He still got three or four yards, so not a big deal. Let's get her done here. Second and seven from the fourteen. Seven twenty-eight remaining here in the first quarter. Wapak's first possession of the game. St. Mary's basically a three and out with a penalty ridden, riddled. First possession. There's Naus on the toss sweep inside the 10, turns a corner inside the five and knocked out of bounds. Uh, yes, 33 on the tackle for uh, St. Mary's and 21 on the tackle. Uh, Hunter Mabry. I didn't know he was playing both ways. This is uh, um, the brother of the running back, so he is all over the place himself. First and goal for the Wapakoneta Redskins with 7-12 remaining. And they'll mark the ball at the four-yard line. H-back is Hauser. They're going to go right behind him and barreling up right behind the back of Hauser is big number 35, Reese Schnari. And Schnari draws first blood for the Wapakoneta Redskins. A four-yard run. And Walpock's up six to nothing. And just like that, Walpock came out and showed their dominance. They did the same thing last week against OG. And they 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 was never a negative play. They were four or five yards a pop and a couple more than ten to fifteens at a time. So Walpock showing their dominance right at the beginning of the game. They line up the extra point and the kick is good. So with 706 remaining here in the first quarter, Wapakoneta takes the early lead, seven to nothing. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back right after this. Searching for a career in manufacturing? Flex Machine Tools is located right here in Wampakoneta. Flex has a wide range of products that benefit the manufacturing industry. From the Flex Arm to the Flex Jet, we offer solutions that our customers use throughout the U.S. Flex offers a 401k match, a competitive salary, and a friendly work environment. Do you want to make a difference in American manufacturing? Then visit FlexMachineTools.com to view our open positions. Founded in 1914, Minster Bank has never lost its focus that separates us from every other bank, and that is helping people achieve financial success. At Minster Bank, we take pride in knowing our customers personally. You can expect a relationship with someone who understands your unique needs and can provide the solutions to help. We're Minster Bank, helping you achieve financial success. Minster Bank, MinsterBank.com, member FDIC. Welcome back to Wapakoneta High School. Big Dan Wilson alongside of Josh Bishop. Week number four already of high school football here on TSC. Wapak scores on a four-yard run by Reese Schnari, the senior. Another hard runner for Wapak. I love watching yes. him run. And Reese has done a really good job all year. And Beach is going to put it somewhere near Botkins, Ohio. Yeah. He had Kevin Perry and uh, Jacob Kessler back here deep, but they ain't going to have to worry a whole lot because they're not going to return tonight, man, unless Kyle slips on his kick. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, you know, I mean, that's what I said, Dan. I was talking about this earlier. I said, you know how people had all these kick return yards in the late 90s, early 2000s? Today's day and age, your kickers are kicking out of the end zone anymore. Yeah, no and kidding. they moved it up, so you ain't going to have a bunch of kick returns. Cody Wallace anymore. is going to bring them out first and 10, but we've got movement on the St. Mary side of the field, and it's it's going to be a false start. And just like that, it's first and 15. So penalties have certainly hurt St. Mary's in their first two possessions already. And mostly a running offense, it's it's hard to make those up. Yeah. Got a slot right, movement to the left is Osborne, and it's going to be a handoff. To Mabry. Mabry with the host of Redskins in there with big old Brown and Reese Schnari and Ware in the tackle. Colton Mabry, the junior, comes in at 5'10", 210 pounds. Again, one of their key runners coming into this game. 
We've talked about him. We've talked about Osborne. And, of course, Cody Wallace isn't a bad runner himself. Oh, right. Maybe a gain of two on that play, so it'll bring up second and 13. They'll mark the ball at the 17-yard line. One wide receiver split wide to the left. We've got motion to the left. It's a sweep left. Turning the corner and moving upfield. What a run. Oh, What my. a nice run by Osborne. Still on his feet. Up over the 40, near the 45-yard line. He's got the first down and then some. Man, he ran with some authority on that, Dan. He did. He said, hey, I'm going to put this on my back, guys. I want to get something going here, and I'm going to make it happen. And he did. And we had uh, uh, Grant Jolly on the tackle, but he rode him for a little bit there. Yeah, and to start that run, as soon as he got through the hole, he, he felt a little pressure, and he did a great job of planting his foot and running up that seam. And that's what started it all. And here I'm talking about whether or not they can get a first down when they run the ball all the time. And if they're going to make runs like that, yeah, yes. they're going to be pretty successful. Yes. And that's what we're used to seeing out of St. Mary's football. Six minutes remaining here in the first quarter. St. Mary's on the move, their second possession of the game. And there he goes again, Colton Mabry. Tackled by uh, Jason Alice and uh, Ware on the tackle. We'll call it a gain of six on the play. It'll bring up second and four as the nose of the ball is just right on the 50-yard line. Want to thank our sponsors once again for tonight's contest. Our good friends at Dad's Toy Shop, Kill RV Service, and Auglay's Audiology, that full house backfield. Handoff to the first guy through that fullback. You want to talk about some hard running. Yes. Oh, that man. That boy is hitting the hole, spinning, running his feet, and that's what you tell your backs that you want to see out of them every time they run the ball. Right, Dan? The, the junior Osborne got the first down, and they're marching into Wapak territory. They marked the ball at the 41, first and 10. Slot right, toss sweep. There goes Mabry trying to turn oh. the corner. He got met at the line of scrimmage and falls forward for maybe a gain of a yard. And Jace now uh, uh, ran through his block to get that tackle. Really nice read by Jace now getting in there to make that stop. And that's, what, that's where you want to get St. Mary's is you want to get them in third and long because they don't really throw the ball a whole lot. We've seen that in their stats. So. Barely a gain of one. It'll bring up second and nine from the Wapak 40-yard line. Second possession of the game for the Rough Riders. Slot right. Wallace is up under center. Long Ooh. count that oh, time. And, and he's met by wow. a host of Redskins. And I think Joey <laughs> Truesdale first on that. Wow. He put, looked like Andy Katzemoyer in there. <laughs> Truesdale and now on the tackle, but he still managed to get a yard out of that. I don't even know how. That was a, that, I could hear that up here, Dan. Third and long, third and eight from the 39. 420 remaining here in the first quarter. Wapak up seven to nothing on a four-yard snarry run. After a long drive, which actually started at the Wapak 41, but they grinded it out and managed to put it in there and get six. St. Mary's is on the move, and go, turning the right corner, of course, is uh, Kessler, number 14. Kessler up near the Wapak 35. It'll bring up fourth and long. Yeah, I, I, I got to think here with the you know, host of Redskins out there, you had Schnari and um, Richie out there, but... Right now, if you're St. Mary's, you have nothing to lose. You might as well go for it here, right? Yeah. <clears throat> There's no question about it. Fourth and four from the 35 of Wampakoneta. St. Mary's, of course, started this drive at their 20-yard line. Two wide receivers split left, slot left. Wallace oh, under center. Oh, that's, that's on. Oh, they called oh, a timeout. Oh, they called a timeout. Wow. Yeah, it looked like St. Mary's there. jump. I thought that it would have been nice. We might have got a punt out of that if that happened. But. So the Rough Riders are going to use their second timeout of the first quarter. So I guess uh, Bo Fry really wants to try to get these guys settled down on this big fourth down. We'll keep it right here. Good contingency on hand tonight. We're back here in three weeks. We have to go on the road to Van Wert, on the road to Shawnee, and then finally back home against Kenton and Elida. We finish on the road with Bath and then finish the season at home against Salina. The St. Mary's team coming into tonight's contest, of course, didn't put any points on the board in the first game of the year against St. Henry.
They gave up 17, but they managed to get 15 in the last two games, but uh, still gave up a lot of points, 37 at Salina and 30 to a defiant squad who, unfortunately, from what I hear, they lost their running yeah, back. Yeah, I know. Casillo is one of the backs we saw. We really liked him. So, Danny, I hope he's okay. Big fourth and four right here. Wallace under center, slot right. Barking out the signals. Maybe he's trying to look for an offside. No, he tosses to Mabry. Oh, Mabry, Mabry around the corner, it. inside the 30-yard line. He's got enough for the first down. That's called what I always said is, uh, what's that? You just have everybody power student right. Student body student right. Student body right. And that's what he did. He <laughs> followed everybody and just made it, picked the hole, and, man, he got some big-time yards. And you we know. had tackle. We had... We had a couple guys out there uh, with uh, Hauser and uh, Grant Jolly and on a, the tackle. And a big fourth down conversion. First and 10 from the Wapak 25. And that's Mabry again, the ball carrier inside the 20. Jaden Rampoula on the tackle. Near the 20. We'll call it a game of five on the play. Rampoula's been having a good year. Yes, he has. I mean, he's all over the place. But, you know, this is what St. Mary's does. They're, they're playing this to their tee. They keep us our offense off the field, and they just take a lot of time. They're and running they, the yes, clock right now, 2.30 remaining here in the quarter. They're on the move, down by seven. Mabry trying to turn the corner down near the 25-yard line, near a first down. They're going to move the chains. Yep, he got her. And they're going to give it to him. First yeah. and ten for the Rough Riders. And I thought you had Ware and uh, Truesdale and Reese Schnari on the tackle, but... <laughs> they are. Uh, it's a, this is a different offense that Wapak's seen all year. They've seen a lot of uh, fast-paced offense. They've seen Castillo. They've seen this and that. But this is just smash-mouth football right here. No question about it. First and ten from the 15 of Wapak, and that's exactly what they're doing, smashing their way forward for about another five yards. They're grinding it out tonight. There, Josh. Man, yeah, with Mayberry, wow. dude. I don't know if he gets tired. He just they just keep giving him the ball. He just keeps getting three or four yards at a time. But he's 210 pounds. And, uh, Johnny Carnes in the game now for the Redskins, number 76. They're going to put a little bit more beef on that line to kind of slow things down a little bit. Buck 36 remaining here in the first quarter. Wapak up by seven. St. Mary's on the move, second and six from the Wapak nice 11. Uh, nice tackle by uh, uh, Nate Metzger. It's about his fourth or fifth tackle of the night already. Uh, uh, he's a 12th grader. He's a six foot one, 175 pounds. He looks bigger than that to me, though. Yeah, he does. Mabry, again, the workhorse for these Rough Riders, gets him down inside the 10 yard line. It's third and three with an opportunity to get a first down inside the 10 in the red zone is always a good thing. Wide left, one wide receiver, slot left. Hand oh, off he has stood and up by caught in the backfield. What a tackle by Kevin Caden Ware. Perry. Kevin Perry caught in the backfield. Yeah, and that's a new guy we've seen in the backfield. I haven't seen a lot of Kevin Perry running the ball. But what happened was Caden Ware got off his block and just snuffed it out, and it's like he knew what was coming. I don't know if he has a book over there. He said, I think they're going to run this. And he just, boom, there he was. And here we go. Another big fourth down, 18 seconds. Huge. Now 16 seconds on the play clock, 19 seconds oh. on the game clock. So they got to run this play or call their third time out on fourth and four. Slot oh. left, toss oh, sweep, oh. Mabry oh, trying to look oh. for the hole. And He's they stopped him. No, I don't think he does have it. I think he's he's right down to oh. the six-yard line. It's going to be close. I think he's got it. Uh, I don't know. He's going to get a favorable mark here. All he had to do was get in the nose of the ball it's inside. ball. Oh, yeah, they didn't they even measure. Yeah. Why didn't they, didn't they even measure? measure? Because I could tell over there they didn't have it, and it looked like they snuck. I think his knee hit, and it's Walpock's ball. That was huge for Walpock. Wow. That was awful for St. Mary's. Huge for Walpock, awful for St. Mary's. I mean, you know, that they get that, that things happen. That's a change of the game thing, but Walpock needs to take advantage of this right here. We got a sideline flag down here in front of Coach Moyer. And I think he's trying to give a warning. It's a sideline warning for the red. As 
half the team was on the field there inside the 20 and 25 yard line as Wapak takes over on downs. That was a nice drive oh, yeah. by the Rough Riders. Started at actually their 15 yard line. Because they started their first game, or I mean their first uh, um, down with a. Uh, with a penalty, so they came from their 15 down to the Wapak six, and come up empty. Five seconds remaining in the quarter. Oh, I and there that. are flags on the play. We had Snari announce in the backfield, and uh, did somebody move? Yeah. So they're going to move it half the distance to the goal, back on the three. So with four seconds remaining, it'll be first and 13. Jolly split wide to the right. Back there is Schnari and Naus. Moyer's going to hand it to Naus. Naus trying to get around right end. Gets hit and knocked out of bounds somewhere near the 10-yard line, but they'll have some running room to work with when they move it to the other end of the field because it's the end of the first quarter. With the score, the Wamakaneta Redskins 7, the St. Mary's Rough Riders nothing. We'll be back with second quarter action after this timeout. Let me tell you about my friends at Miller's Corral, a family-owned discount appliance and furniture store right here in Wamakaneta. Miller's Corral has served customers in Wapakoneta and the surrounding area since 1981. And I can tell you firsthand, they beat the big box stores. Low prices on quality products and top-notch customer service. They're all about service, delivery, installation, and repair. Miller's Corral is an authorized dealer of such brands as Amana, FlexSteel, KitchenAid, Maytag, Whirlpool, and more. Take my word for it, they are the best. For complete sales and service, visit my friends at Miller's Corral in the Grandview Plaza, Wampakoneta. Do you know the dollar value of your largest asset? I'm committed to volunteering my time to help you determine the value of your home with a free market valuation. Every month or quarter, you receive a statement for your other valuable assets, so why not know the value of your home? By contacting or connecting with me, we can set up an appointment to take a quick look at your home and determine the value of your largest asset. Give me a call at 419-773-9583 or click to connect to my website to get started. Welcome back to Wapakoneta. Big Dan Wilson and Josh Bishop for week number four of high school football action here on TSC. Cross County rivals Wapakoneta Redskins and the St. Mary's Rough Riders. And as St. Mary's gets out there, or uh, Wapak gets out there, I should say, let's talk about that... Uh, Last possession by the by the Rough Riders. Oh, Dan, they Maybe started. I thought for sure he had that first down, but as you said, he it was just he a little bounced short. Just bounced it the, and bounced it up, and it looked like he was over, but he his body was short. But Dan, they took it from their own 15 and d drove it all the way down the six, and it came up short. No points at all. That is that's heartbreaking for St. Mary's. Wapak with second down, and there's Moyer has some running room down the left sideline to the 20, 25, 30. Knocked out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. They'll move the chains. And Moyer with a big run there with a tackle by uh, number 10 from uh, St. Mary's. And he's a tough kid at Carter Steinberg. He's a uh, 12th grade uh, DB 5'10", 170. It's going to be fun watching Caleb Moyer the, the next, next two, two years. years. Yeah, he's only going to get better. I mean, he's still raw. Hopefully faster. Bigger, stronger, and faster. That's the old th That's the old saying, right? No question about it. Jolly split wide to the right. And it's going to be a run right. It's going to be Naus. Naus Ooh. doing nice some run. hard bulldog running of his own. Up over the 40-yard line, he'll be short of the first down. And tackled by their linebacker, 32. from, And I don't mean to say their number first, but Taylor Compton. Uh, He's a tough kid. Uh, he's a freshman. A freshman out there playing linebacker. Second and two for the Redskins from their own 40-yard line. Just underway, second quarter action here at Wapakoneta. Moyer up under center. One wide receiver left, but it's not going to matter. It's going to be a run to the left. And that's going to be Naus being knocked out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. He may have enough for the first down. Yeah, and you have... Uh, and he does. And Carter Steinberg and... Uh, Jacob Kessler on the tackle. 
Well, we know that St. Mary's likes to run the ball, and between the tackles, they're pretty strong, but we've got some strong runners of our own on the red side of the field. You sure One do. of those guys coming out right now, uh, number 35, Reese Schnari, and him and Joey Truesdale in there at the same time gives us a lot of beef up there. Yes, they're both meaty. Yeah, no question about it. Ryan Walter is split wide to the right. Three wide receiver set. Moyer drops back, has time, looks, sets up oh. the screen, and there's nobody, nobody out there. there. It's now to the 40, to the 30. Oh, wow. Number and uh, just like last week at OG, they set up that screen, the Nows, nope, and there was nobody, nobody there. covering them. Unbelievable. My Luke Bourne's there, Who luckily. Could not, how could you not see that on oh, films my goodness, last week? right. I thought he was going to to the house. There, oh, absolutely. Lots nice of running there. Nice for their DB there, Luke Bourne's to stop it, but that was beautiful. Yeah, Ryan Walter was out there helping lead the way. Some of the uh, wide receivers doing some blocking there. Two wide receivers set here. Page wide to the left. We've got motion to the left. That's Hauser. Here comes Moyer. Moyer high stepping it inside the 20. Down to the 16 yard line. Another nice run for Caleb Moyer. So far, so good for him. Oh, yeah. He's uh, running right up and down the field here with his backs. Uh, on the tackle, you had Steinberg, number seven, Perry, and uh, number 10, Carter Steinberg on the tackle. It's a first and 10 for the Redskins at the Rough Riders 17. And this one started back on their own six yard line. So a nice drive here for the Redskins. Here's now, he cuts it. It was supposed to be a sweep right. He saw that hole, he lost oh. the handle on oh. the football. Ball and was he down him. or? They never said. Nope. Uh, I guess he wasn't down luckily that we uh, pounced wow. on, uh, on the uh, Recovery for Wapak was Mason Ludwig. Thank goodness he was there. Oh my. Because you don't want to have that happen here. You've got total advantage of this game. And uh, now um, it's got to keep a hold of that ball, buddy. Keep it high and tight, like they say. You certainly don't want to lose that momentum. There's no question about it. And that would have done exactly that. There's no question about it. So we got Page split wide to the right. Jolly tight to the right. Hauser in the slot left. Moyer with the toss sweep. To Naus, inside the 10, working his way inside the 5. And Touchdown, Naus! Naus with just a powerful run, and uh, he just he just kind of glides through that defensive backfield. Jace nice Naus, the senior, with a beautiful 10-yard run there. They call him Beefcake, Dan. Wow, I know, I know. They do. They call him <laughs> Beefcake. Walpock extends their lead and with the extra point by Beach makes it 14 to nothing. With 9.15 remaining in the half, Walpock extends their lead 14 to nothing. We're going to take a timeout. We'll be back right after this. Personal service. That's Home Savings Bank. Locally owned and operated, Home Savings Bank takes pride in being part of the Wabakoneta community since 1941. Home Savings Bank continues to offer more services like online bill pay, ID Theft Smart, a mobile banking app, home mortgage and equity loans, construction loans, lines of credit, savings accounts, IRAs, and more. All with friendliness, integrity, and the personal service you deserve. Home Savings Bank in downtown Wabakoneta. Elevation Chiropractic, formerly known as Kantner Chiropractic, has been serving Wapakoneta and the surrounding communities for 30-plus years of generational quality chiropractic care. Elevation Chiropractic is unique as we utilize numerous techniques to accommodate our patient as well as their condition. In addition to chiropractic care, we now offer cutting-edge technologies such as spinal decompression as well as Class 4 laser therapy. As a former Redskin alumni, Dr. Michael Nagel would like to wish all the Wapak athletes a successful and healthy season. Visit us at ElevationChiroOhio.com or contact us at 419-738-4373 to see how we can elevate your health. Welcome back to Wapakoneta High School. Big Dan Wilson and Josh Bishop bringing you week number four of high school football on TSC. It's a good night for the Wapakoneta running game. It's a good night for the St. Mary's Rough Rider running game, but unfortunately, 
They've stalled out twice in their first two possessions of the game. And with 9.15 remaining, Wapak is now up 14 to nothing. Kyle Beach kicking deep to uh, Kevin Perry. and Kyle Beach actually Jacob kicking Kessler. into the wind this time. And it's still going to make it into the end zone. That end over end kick looked like it was slowed slowed up a little bit. It did slow up a little bit, but still <laughs> that little leg has that much power. I mean, that's maybe where they came up with the word horsepower at one point. They have a big <laughs> horse leg. You see this, you know? I mean, that is crazy he can kick a ball that far. So St. Mary's with their third possession of the game will start first and 10 from their own 20-yard line. Let's see if they continue to run the ball try to run the clock and just try to keep Wapak off the field, basically. Wide to the right is Trey Moore, but they're going to run to the right over tackle and breaking tackles. Took three Redskins to bring down Dominic Osborne. The junior has really run well again here tonight. Him and Mabry, they're looking great. Yeah, they're running really, really hard, and they're doing everything for their own team. On the tackle for Wapak was Reece Schnari and... Uh, and Nate Metzger, and uh, Nate, Nate kind of took the blunt of that one. You can kind of see him down there shaking it off, but they're tough runners for St. Mary's. We'll call it a gain of eight, second and two from the 28-yard line. Another handoff. This time nice tackle. it's Mabry, and Mabry gets upended just as he gets the first down. Yeah. Uh, that was a hard hit. Yeah, Grant Jolly come in. just He was an ankle biter there, so they call those <laughs> ankle biters. He just took his legs out. Yeah, it didn't it didn't feel good for me, and I'm up at, I'm up in the berth. <laughs> yeah, I got a road map on my right knee that proves it. <laughs> yeah, first and ten for the Rough Riders. Eight twenty-two remaining here in the first half. That slot left, two in the backfield. Here's the counter. And nice. Nothing happening there. Shut down quickly. Jolly's in on the play, and uh, Bryson Pack and Jolly also in the play. And Bryson just kind of slid right down the line. He found yep. him, and he he read that whole that play. I yep. mean, and they know that counter's coming through. I know that, Dan, because we run that in on our midget football team. I'm surprised they even gave him a yard on that. It's nice that you run it at a, at a young yeah, age because yeah. that's a fundamental play. Right, yep. Yep. First in or second and nine, I should say, from the 33 for the Rough Riders. They're still going to come out with that one wide receiver, Trey Moore, split wide to the left. Here's the sweep left. Mabry trying to turn the corner, looking and for nice some tackle. block. But, boy, coming up quickly for the Redskins. Did a great job was number 22, Mullen. Yeah. Jared Mullen. Another sophomore, Dan. He I came mean, up it, there uh, quick. Yeah, he's like a missile. Wow. That was a big tackle. It was. Gain of two. And Mullen's not a big guy either. He's only... Uh, five foot seven, 160 pounds. I mean, not a big kid at all, but he's tough as nails. Third and seven, ball on the 35, seven minutes remaining here in the first half. Rough Riders down, 14 to nothing. Slot right, wide receiver right. They're going to pass. He's under pressure, and he's oh. going down. And who is that guy? They call him, they call him Jutton Rampula. Rampula again. Nice. When you need a tackle most, he's all over it. Boy, he's having a great year so far. Yes, he is. Fourth and 13. That's going to bring out the punting unit for the Rough Riders. Back for the Wapakoneta Redskins. Is uh, um, Grant Jolly and uh, Caden Page. And the punt is going to be shanked a little bit off to the right, but takes a rough rider bounce. Down to the 34-yard line. Inside the 35. Wow, I thought that was going to go out of bounds at the 50. He got about 20 more yards yeah, than I thought that th was yep, going to happen. Me too, me too. Um, here, Walpaw's not starting where they were the first two couple drives, but you know what? They've been doing what they want with the football, right, Dan? Yeah, no question about it. Two possessions, two touchdowns. You can't do any better than that. Swapak got on the board first with a four-yard run by Schnari. And then their second possession, a now 10-yard run. And here they are in their third possession at their own 35. 
Two wide receivers set, but it's going to be a handoff. Jace now is tackled by a host of uh, St. Mary's Rough, Rough Riders, uh, Carter Steinberg and, um, and Logan Compton on the tackle. Going to thank our sponsors for tonight's contest, our friends at Kill RV Service, Gordon Kill and the family there, All Glaze Audiology, Dan and Vanessa Lee, and State Farm. Shout out to uh, Jimmy Sager, first year sponsor on our high school football broadcast here on TSC. We've got whistles on the play, and we have a timeout on the field. So with 531 remaining, Walpock's going to take a timeout. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back right after this. Are you having trouble making decision about where to go for your hearing care? Well, let us help you cut through the noise. Hear what our patients have to say about us here at Allglaze and Sydney Audiology. Allglaze Audiology has always been a wonderful experience. I have taken both of my little ones there for their preschool examinations, and my kids just love them. Vanessa is such a calm and interesting audiologist who explains everything so thoroughly. Don't trust your hearing care to just anyone. See the professionals at Allglaze and Sydney Audiology. Hi, I'm Alan Davis. And here at Alan Davis Insurance, we strive to be your solutions provider. As a business owner and an active farmer, I know the challenges firsthand that you face to run your business and your farm. Give us a call, 419-738-7447 for your auto, home, life, farm, commercial, crop, and financial services. Or check us out on the web at allendavisinsurance.com. Camping is one of America's oldest pastimes, so why lose a minute of family fun when your RV needs service or repair? At Kill RV Service, we offer you the best in service and repairs. Your site or our site, our experienced team will thoroughly inspect and professionally repair your camper or RV so you don't miss a minute of fun. We do insurance and extended warranty repairs and have a complete array of parts in stock. Nobody works harder to keep you camping safely than Kill RV. Call or visit us in Salina or online at killrv.com. Welcome back. Big Dan Wilson alongside of Josh Bishop for tonight's high school football action between cross-county rivals, the Wapakoneta Redskins and the St. Mary's Rough Riders. It's 14 to nothing with 531 remaining in the first half. Wapak, their third possession of the game. Two wide receivers to the right, one to the left. Moyer all back there by himself. Here comes Jolly on the roll. Jolly's going to throw. And he's going to overthrow the oh, intended that's pass receiver, but is there going to be a throw flag? It. You got to throw that. He hit him. He stripped him up. I don't care how close it was. He could have. He could be as fast as Odell Beckham. We don't know that. Well, Jolly's intended receiver was Caden Page, and Page got uh, tripped up at about the 40-yard line, but the ball ended up down at the 25. Yeah, it I don't like, know. I don't know if he was going to catch up with that ball. I don't know if he would have either, but it looked like he. It was an actually the guy took his arm and swiped his leg so it looked like it was intentional to trip him oh okay so to me that's what it looked like we've got holding there's two penalties on the play and then pass interference so the pass interference will give Wapak the first down in St. Mary's territory at a just short of their 48 yard line Boy, Jolly showed a good arm there. Yeah, he did. Juice. Man, he that looked like a really nice ball. I think he's played quarterback before, hasn't he? I, don't I think know. he has a couple. Uh, <laughs> in his younger years, he was a QB. There's Page split wide to the left. Jolly wide right. Hauser in motion to the right. They're going to run right. They are. There's uh, Moyer, who didn't follow his blocks. He looked a little more open to his left, so he yeah. decided to. He, he's seen an opening there. where there were no yeah. yellow, yellow pants Helm yes. or yellow helmets. Yeah, but the, the yellow helmets kind of converge really quick, but he's still got four or five yards. Exactly. Yeah. to bring up second and six from the Rough Rider 44-yard line. Just a beautiful night for high school football here in Wampakoneta. Only their second home game so far in the next two weeks on the road. Here's the draw to Naus. Naus over the 40 down to about the 38-yard line. They'll move the chains. That's a first down. On the tackle was uh, Noah Dixon and, and uh, Compton on the tackle. First and 10 for Wampakoneta from the 38 of St. Mary's. 438 remaining here in the first half. 
Wapak up by 14. Let's see if they grind out more of the clock here and try to get some points on the board. I take as much time as you can. No question here. about it. Here's oh, more. Oh. Low snap. Has some trouble picking it up. This hold it barely gets back to the up. line of scrimmage. So yeah. we had that problem the first two weeks, the low snaps. And then last week, we really didn't see it at all at OG. And it's raised its ugly head here a couple of times yeah. tonight. I don't like seeing that. Yeah, and sometimes you wonder if it's the way the nose guard is presenting himself, if he's coming in low, making him kind of try to snap the ball faster than he wants to. Maybe they got a tough defensive nose guard in there, but we're going to have to we're going to keep an eye on that. Absolutely. Ryan Walter is split wide to the left. We got Jolly in motion to the right. There goes Moyer. He's going to oh, roll right. He's going to look. He's under oh. pressure. He throws. And he's going to just throw it out of bounds. My goodness, I know he, he just didn't see it there at this. I, you know, we can see everything up here. But he had him so wide open, and uh, I don't think he just he just didn't see him at the point of attack there. He, uh, was, he, saw, he saw the pressure in his face. Yep. <laughs> so I think yeah. he was just looking to get rid of the ball, oh. and that's exactly what he did. Uh, third and 11. Um, good, good coverage good, and good defensive pressure by St. Mary's. The incomplete pass stops the clock at 338. And as Josh mentioned, third and 11 from the 39, a four wide receiver set for Moyer. Back there with him is now. Moyer, three step drop, feels the pressure. Looks like they were trying to set up a screen. He's going to throw it into coverage. Oh, what a. And boy, catch. he had to go up high oh. and catch that ball. But Grant Jolly with one heck of a catch. That was freakish. And got hit low in the back, pushed. And he still caught it. And he still held on to the ball. That is wild. That was one heck of a catch. Wow. And I think that should give you enough of your offense to say, hey, guys, if you can make catches like that, we should be able to make an easy catch. So are they going to are they gonna kick it, or are they going to uh, go for it on fourth down? It's man, still well, fourth down and four from the 32. It looks like they're going to go for it. I go for it here. Absolutely. Jolly split wide to the right. There's a little bit of confusion as Caden Page not sure where he needs to be. He's going to move out to the right, and that's going to call timeout. That's going to call Travis Moyer to call the timeout because he looked like there was a lot of confusion. And on fourth down, you certainly do not want to have that. We're going to keep it right here as Wapak's on the move with 2.46 remaining. But this big fourth down here for the Rough Riders, this would be a nice stop for St. Mary's oh, right now. Oh, big time. They need this. They want to stay in the game. They let Wapak get this first down and score here. It's going to be... It's going to be hard to, for an offense like St. Mary's to come back on a good defense like Walpock has. But, you know, and then if you're Walpock's case, man, try to put it, put it away as early as possible, you know, and try to get this first down and uh, maybe throw it to Grant Jolly. He just, catches, he just snatches oh, wow. things right out of the air. That was one heck of a catch. Wow. Uh, it hopefully was. that'll make the highlight reel it at would. the end I, of the year. It may be ESPN, you know, I don't know. Fourth and four from the 32 as Wapak gets back out there, and let's see what they're bringing. I don't know what you run here, Dan. In there is Ryan Walter at wide receiver as well. I see Jolly. I see Page. Let's see how they set it up. Walter's going to be split wide to the right. We haven't seen much of Hauser. Would love to see them go to the tight end. Two wide receivers left. He's going to look left. He's got time. Now he's flushed a little bit. Throws to the left side and nowhere near the intended receiver, Page, as he was diving out of bounds at about the 22-yard line to try to come up with that ball. But not a very good throw there by Moyer. Uh, and St. Kinda, Mary's will take over on downs. I think he, uh, Moyer was kind of flushed to his left, and, and it's harder to throw against your body. But... <laughs> You got to see, you got a six foot five tight end. I'd like to see him try to sit somewhere only four or five yards deep and just throw him the ball. You know, get that big body at first down and so you can live for another four downs. But I don't know. Well, St. Mary's will start their fourth possession of the game with their best field position, their own 32 yard line with 239 remaining. Here's oh, the reverse to Mabry. Oh, nice block. Mabry. Oh, gonna what be caught a in tackle. The backfield. And that was Bryson Pack. Bryson Pack all over the place on defense. He My just, goodness. He's so fast. The thing is, that kid can run sideline to sideline. Yeah, he ain't big. He's 155 pounds. 
but he's quicker than heck, and that's the kind of guy you want out there. He's like Ryan Shazier for Ohio State. I never liked running the ball. I never liked to see them running a reverse to the short side of the field, yeah, and that's what they that. did. Yep, right. Two wide receivers split wide to the right. Wallace under Ooh. center is going to hand it to oh. Mabry. Mabry ran into his own guy. Man, he's still it's, got big yards. Yeah, still managed to get some yardage. Yeah, we had uh, – <laughs> We had uh, Grant Jolly and uh, Schnari on the tackle. He runs I think pretty. Will Glass uh, for St. Mary's has got a dent in his lower back where Mabry <laughs> hit, hit him, him before yeah. he, he turned the corner there. He Mabry, ran solid into him. Mabry ain't going to flash you. He ain't going to do anything crazy, but the kid runs with a lot of power. Yeah. We love that. Yep. Third and about a yard for the Rough Riders. And that quick hitter over left tackle may be enough to get them the first down. We'll see. Mabry again, the down. ball carrier. And it is. It's enough. Now, just a reminder, yeah. St. Mary's only has one timeout left. They used both of their other timeouts early in the first quarter to kind of settle that team down. So with 130 remaining, they've got a long way to go. They still have 58 yards to pay dirt. Two wide receivers left for Wallace. He steps, three-step drop. Oh, looks under pressure, and he's going down again. Ah, Rampula. Oh, my, Rampula again. They can't block him. Just I mean, you can't sit cleaned back him up. Oh, and Rampula is one of the faster players on Wapak's football team. And he gets right by that tackle, and, I mean, he. it looked like it was going to be a lot worse than it was. It looked like Lawrence Taylor coming off the edge, but he just kind of let up. Whoo, and that was beautiful. Beautiful defensive uh, move by Jaden Rampula. Second and 16 with the loss. Puts him back at the 36-yard line, and more importantly, only 49 seconds. Here's the reverse again. St. Mary's with the – oh, wow. With lots of running room is Noah Dixon. And Dixon had a lot of green space there, but not a lot of speed. And you know what? I don't know if he had speed or not, but he chose to just try to run over our defensive back instead of putting a move or two on him. And Jarrett Mullins, a sure tackler, is a great wrestler. You know, he didn't try to give him a one-two juke move or anything. Yeah. Third and 11 now from the 41. There's only 18 seconds remaining. St. Mary's with one timeout. They're going to have to put it up here sometime. No, they're not. They're going to give it to the fullback right up the gut. And Tuesday, the clock is going to continue the run. Are they going to use their timeout or not? What's going on? Four seconds, three seconds. They're going to go in and talk about it, Dan. They're just happy to go in the end. Uh, into the locker room at the end of the uh, first half, only down by 14. So that was kind of a mystery right there. Yeah. Why they did use their last time out, I have no idea. But it brings us to the end of the first half here from Wapakoneta with the Redskins, 14, the Rough Riders, nothing. We'll be back with second half action after this break. Searching for a career in manufacturing? Flex Machine Tools is located right here in Wampakoneta. Flex has a wide range of products that benefit the manufacturing industry. From the Flex Arm to the Flex Jet, we offer solutions that our customers use throughout the U.S. Flex offers a 401k match, a competitive salary, and a friendly work environment. Do you want to make a difference in American manufacturing? Then visit FlexMachineTools.com to view our open positions. Founded in 1914, Minster Bank has never lost its focus that separates us from every other bank, and that is helping people achieve financial success. At Minster Bank, we take pride in knowing our customers personally. You can expect a relationship with someone who understands your unique needs and can provide the solutions to help. We're Minster Bank, helping you achieve financial success. Minster Bank, MinsterBank.com, member FDIC. Let me tell you about my friends at Miller's Corral, a family-owned discount appliance and furniture store right here in Wapakoneta. Miller's Corral has served customers in Wapakoneta and the surrounding area since 1981. And I can tell you firsthand, they beat the big box stores. Low prices on quality products and top-notch customer service. They're all about service, delivery, installation, and repair. Miller's Corral is an authorized dealer of such brands as Amana, FlexSteel, KitchenAid, Maytag, Whirlpool, and more. Take my word for it. They are the best. For complete sales and service, visit my friends at Miller's Corral in the Grandview Plaza, Wampakoneta. Do you know the dollar value of your largest asset? I'm committed to volunteering my time to help you determine the value of your home with a free market valuation. 
Every month or quarter, you receive a statement for your other valuable assets, so why not know the value of your home? By contacting or connecting with me, we can set up an appointment to take a quick look at your home and determine the value of your largest asset. Give me a call at 419-773-9583 or click to connect to my website to get started. Personal service. That's Home Savings Bank. Locally owned and operated, Home Savings Bank takes pride in being part of the Wabakoneta community since 1941. Home Savings Bank continues to offer more services like online bill pay, ID Theft Smart, a mobile banking app, home mortgage and equity loans, construction loans, lines of credit, savings accounts, IRAs, and more. All with friendliness, integrity, and the personal service you deserve. Home Savings Bank in downtown Wapakoneta. Elevation Chiropractic, formerly known as Cantner Chiropractic, has been serving Wapakoneta and the surrounding communities for 30 plus years of generational quality chiropractic care. Elevation Chiropractic is unique as we utilize numerous techniques to accommodate our patient as well as their condition. In addition to chiropractic care, we now offer cutting edge technologies such as spinal decompression as well as class 4 laser therapy. As a former Redskin alumni, Dr. Michael Nagel would like to wish all the Wapak athletes a successful and healthy season. Visit us at ElevationChiroOhio.com or contact us at 419-738-4373 to see how we can elevate your health. Tonight's game is being brought to you by the following. Merritt Real Estate. Allen Davis Insurance Agency. Elevation Chiropractic. Miller's Corral, Minster Bank, Flexarm, GA Winsor and Son, State Farm Insurance, Home Savings Bank, Auglaze Audiologies, Kill RV Service, Dad's Toy Shop and Wilson One Communications. Are you having trouble making decision about where to go for your hearing care? Well, let us help you cut through the noise. Hear what our patients have to say about us here at Allglaze and Sydney Audiology. Allglaze Audiology has always been a wonderful experience. I have taken both of my little ones there for their preschool examinations, and my kids just love them. Vanessa is such a calm and interesting audiologist who explains everything so thoroughly. Don't trust your hearing care to just anyone. See the professionals at Auglaize and Sydney Audiology. Camping is one of America's oldest pastimes, so why lose a minute of family fun when your RV needs service or repair? At Kill RV Service, we offer you the best in service and repairs. Your site or our site, our experienced team will thoroughly inspect and professionally repair your camper or RV so you don't miss a minute of fun. We do insurance and extended warranty repairs and have a complete array of parts in stock. Nobody works harder to keep you camping safely than Kill RV. Call or visit us in Salina or online at KillRV.com. Jake from State Farm. I really want that personal price plan. So I'll admit it. I'm a bath bomb guy. Dude, you do not need to get that personal. The State Farm personal price plan simply helps you create an affordable price just for you. For real? Who's ready for their jazz bath? No? <laughs> Who is that guy? This is Jimmy from Jimmy Sager State Farm in Wapakoneta, Ohio. Stop in our office at 201 East Augley Street or call 419-738-7506 or check us out on the web at jimmysager.com for your free, no obligation quote. GA Winsor & Son Company, family owned in the original recycler since 1848, celebrating our 175th anniversary. We're proud to be headquartered in Wapakoneta, and our commitment to the community has never changed. We celebrate the hard work of our employees and provide our customers with the best service available in our industry, all while being environmentally conscious. We are proud of our city and proud of our workers. We are GA Winsor & Son. Visit us on the web at gawinsor.com. Your outdoor fun starts here at Dad's Toy Shop. See us today for all of your favorite remote control, land, air, and watercraft, and so much more. Dad's Toy Shop in downtown Wapakoneta is your one-stop shop for all of your hobby needs. Hi, I'm Alan Davis, and here at Alan Davis Insurance, we strive to be your solutions provider. As a business owner and an active farmer, I know the challenges firsthand that you face to run your business and your farm. Give us a call. 419-738-7447 for your auto, 
home, life, farm, commercial, crop, and financial services. Or check us out on the web at allendavisinsurance.com. Welcome back to second half action. Big Dan Wilson alongside of Josh Bishop for this cross-county rivalry. Wabakoneta Redskins and the St. Mary's Rough Riders. WBL action at its best here on T. S C. It's a beautiful night for high school football. Wouldn't want it any other way. Great crowd on hand here tonight. And uh, so far, so good for the good guys. The Wabaganetta Redskins, 14. St. Mary's Rough Riders, nothing. Let's talk about those scoring drives, Josh. Oh, uh, yeah. St. Mary's, they started off. They uh, they kind of came out and had a couple couple runs, a couple here and there's so not a lot. They had Maybury run the ball, but they had a punt. Walpock took the ball over. Now had a big 54-yard run. Moyer with a couple yard, uh, couple runs. And then you had uh, capped it off with uh, Schnari with a four-yard scamper into the end zone to go up 7-0. St. Mary's took over the second series. They had, they had nothing going on. They got stuffed and uh, nothing going on for them. And then Walpock got the ball back. And then Naus, 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 Moyer, uh, we call him <laughs> Beefcake with a 10-yard scamper to go up 14 nothing. And then same thing with uh, what happened with the third series, well, actually the fourth series with St. Mary's. They started their 15-yard line, Dan, and they, they just kept driving with Mabry and, and Perry. They kept it, it just – it was one of those long, sustained drives. They got down to the. You talking six about? Yard you're, line. you're talking about their second, their second possession of the game where they started. No, uh, I think at that was the twenty. Third. Wasn't that their third? Their second possession of the game, they started at the twenty. They had that penalty that moved them back to the fifteen, and they worked it all the way down to the Wapakoneta had a six yard line yeah. where it stalled out, which was pretty unfortunate for them because they put a lot of energy into that, and it just seemed like take the zip out of them because their third possession of the game they were. Started at their 20, and they finally had some great positioning on their fourth possession where they were at the 32-yard line, but that brought us to the end of the half, and a very strange ending it was where they had a timeout remaining. They were near midfield. They could have taken a couple of shots, but they just elected to run the ball and run the clock out yeah, to end the half. We didn't really understand that, and you're right because I have it down here now. I see that they did that in the second series, but... What St. Mary's is, I think the St. Mary's to get back in this ball game, they ain't going to be able to. We're kind of seeing we can, you know, it's going to take them too long to score if they're just going to pound the ball. Exactly. At the middle. Yeah, they're going to have to throw the ball. They're going to have to do something to move quickly to get some points on the board. If they're just going to want to keep the ball away from Wapak's offense, Wapak's still going to try to, you know, they they could definitely move the ball themselves and try to put more points on the board. But St. Mary's has to get into pay dirt some at some point. Well, taking a look at the schedule here, of course, we mentioned this is week number four of high school football action here on TSC. Here at home against St. Mary's, the last two weeks we were on the road. The next two weeks we're on the road, and those are a couple of tough contests at Van Wert and then at Shawnee. Let's talk about the Van Wert Cougars, Josh. Yeah, Van Wert, they're 3-0. They're and They've, they've uh, started with Brian. And uh, they kind of took it to them, and they've just kind of been dominant every game. Now they took, they went with uh, Salina, and they uh, they they had a they had a barn burner. But I'm telling you, Van Wert is going to be one of our tougher matchups of the year. I mean, it's came down to after we seen what happened last year, after we blocked the punt for that touchdown late in the game to make, uh, and that was the WBL championship. Yeah. You know, it was the, us and them, and. I'm sure they're going to have it out for us. but And then when you go to Shawnee, they've been in every game. I mm -hmm. mean, they've been in every game. They've fought tooth and nail. they got a new head coach. Right. And they're out here to make a point. And I think I don't think that we're going to have any easy give-me games the rest of the year. No question about it. Kenton's playing well. Elida, Bath, and then home to Salina to finish the season. But the next two weeks on the road, going over this five-week stretch where you have four games on the road can take it out of any team. So, What's Coach Moyer trying to do to get these guys inspired, knowing that they're going to be in some uh, pretty rough confines, if you will, like Van Wert and Shawnee coming up? I, I think what Moyer's going to do is, and, and the coaching staff is they've seen what happens is we played one of the best teams in the state of Ohio. I don't care what division it is in Marion Local, and we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. And then we come out, and we got a little flat against Defiance. And, uh, and I think they're getting it together. We've seen it last week with uh, OG. And I think you're going to see a tougher Walpock team every, on the, the rest of the way out. And 
what they're going to do is uh, Moyer's going to say, hey, we can play with anybody. And it's, 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 it's all and uh, where you guys want to be, how hard you want to work, and we got to go and fight every to at tooth and nail. Well, we're getting ready for second half action here from Wampakoneta. We're just waiting on the officials to place the ball and the teams to get onto the field. Walpock up 14 and nothing, as Josh mentioned. A four-yard snarry run on Walpock's first possession and then a 10-yard scamper by Naus on their second possession is all the scoring with two beach extra points. Wapak will receive to start this second half. And let's see if they can grind one out. You got uh, you got Jace Naus and uh, Grant Jolly deep. And I guess we haven't seen St. Mary's kickoff. I'm not sure. We, we have our own, one of the best kickoff artists in the state. We'll see what these guys can do. Want to thank our sponsors for tonight's contest. As always, Merritt Real Estate, Allen Davis Insurance, Elevation Chiropractic, Miller's Corral, Minster Bank, Flex Machine Tools, GA Windsor & Sons, State Farm Insurance, Home Savings Bank, Auglaze Autogology, RV Kill RV Service, and it's an onside kick. It's an onside kick, and I don't even know who got the ball. That was the weirdest looking onside kick I've ever seen. It looked like their offensive lineman kicked it. Number 86 for uh, St. Mary's, Logan Rush. So He's a, a little, kicker. <laughs> He's a a little trickeration. You know, I saw them gathering together to kick the ball, and I just assumed that while I'm rattling off our sponsors list that they would just spread out and have a normal kick, but apparently not. So Wapak with great field position will start at their own 40 nine yard line Hauser moves into the slot to the left one wide receiver out to the left it's going to be a run left and that's going to be now now nice jump, jump. that little jump, jump move cut. I love that we've seen that every week so far this year right yeah he's got a really good jump cut and he's just an athletic kid um, on the tackle for St. Mary's is Carter Steinberg and uh, uh, Noah Dixon uh, yeah Jace Nouse is just it seems like he's one of those backs that keep getting better as the weeks go on I mean it's like, you know, he really like, has. He just, you got to keep feeding him the ball, and he gets better and better with yep, time. Yep. Yep. We'll call it a gain of about four on the play. It'll bring up second and six from the St. Mary's 47 yard line. Two wide receivers set. That's Hauser in oh. motion to the right, but we've got movement. And know, that's going to go against the Redskins. We had a little movement up front, but you know what? You take it to heart, and. Uh, <laughs> you got to get it back here. So that's going to put it back on the Redskins side of the field. Second and 11, just underway. Second half action. Wapak got 14 to nothing on a crazy onside kick to start the second half by the Rough Riders. And Wapak managed to recover. That's Page split wide to the right, but that's not going to oh. matter because Moyer is going to keep it and get back some of the penalty yardage. I don't know who and bring up third and down. Run, but I think it was 44 from St. Mary's there. Uh, oh, and odd. But if he don't get tripped there, he has a lot of green grass. It looked like you could it. See him. He, knew, he knew he was not happy because he knew he had some green grass in front of him. Third and seven for the Redskins from the 48. You think it's four down territory? Uh, you know what? This, I, this early in the second half, maybe? It depends on no. what we get here. I okay. mean, if we get a good I chunk agree. of change. Trips out to the left. Page is the only wide receiver out to the right. It's going to be Jolly in motion to the right. And there goes Moyer to look at that little down and out to Jolly. And Jolly's got enough for the first down, down by the 40-yard line. Dan, I think it's four down territory. We saw that one coming, <laughs> didn't we? Yeah, we did. We saw he got out there with – and he's so quick, and he gets separation from the DBs. And uh, Jolly with great hands. But on the tackle for St. Mary's is Luke Bournes and uh, yours truly, uh, Carter Steinberg. He's on a lot of tackles tonight. Boy, it's nice to, nice to know, let's put it this way, that two of his weapons, Caden Page and Grant Jolly, will be back next year. Oh. Let's hope they'll be back next yeah. year. First and ten right. for the Wabakoneta Redskins from the St. Mary's 40-yard line, 941 remaining here in the third quarter. And there's the quick hitter, and that's not going anywhere. Good defense. Uh -huh. Reese Schnari, the ball carrier, and Schnari's going to lose a yard on the play. Good penetration there by the Rough Riders. Yeah, that looked like Devin Stutler uh, on, the, on the tackle. And that's – that was he just looked like he shed right after, to the center and got that 
stop, and I'm thinking that's who it is. I can't really see his number, but. Second and 11 for the Redskins from the 41. Here's Jolly split out to the left, Page to the right. Moyer takes the low snap again, gets the ball to Naus, and again, a big stand there by the Rough Rider defensive line as Naus barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. We'll give him a yard on the play, and that's it. Yeah, 93 for for uh, St. Mary's on the tackle. Another third and long for Kay the returned. Redskins. 5'11", wow. 180, and that's a good stop. And I had it wrong on the last tackle. He's been on the last two tackles. And here I think Wapak's going to probably, you're going to see Merritt out a little bit here. Well, let's see what they do. They've got uh, Page wide to the right. Jolly tight right. And it's a quarterback keeper all the way. That wasn't even a good fake. No. Did nothing to. Didn't phase the, their defensive line. Yeah, they had the did nothing to fake that over. line out at all. It looks like uh, St. Mary's has made some adjustments, and they've come out and played better defense here. So this third and out. nine from the St. Mary's 39-yard line. I do not think they're going to attempt a 46-yard field goal. They're going to bring out the punting unit as expected. Back deep for uh, St. Mary's. Timeout. Wow. Another timeout early in the half. St. Mary's called two early timeouts in the first half and only down by 14 to see them call it another timeout early here in the second half is really troubling. But they must be seeing something that we're not seeing down there as far as uh, alignment is concerned or trying to tell their players what to watch out for. But in the meantime, with 7.45, Remaining here in the third quarter, Wapak about ready to punt. We'll remind you about our sponsors once again, Dad's Toy Shop, Kill RV Service, Auglaze Audiology and Home Savings Bank, just to name a few. Some great people helping to support our high school football broadcast here on TSC. Big shout-out to Lonnie and the crew at TSC. All the great people that work there. Terry, you know a few people that work there too, right? Uh, yeah, yes, there are. Yeah. Hey, I, we got good crew. We got uh, back deep, back deep for uh, um, St. Mary's is Noah Dixon and St. Mary's Carter is Simon. coming after this. They got everybody up in the line of scrimmage. It looked like, Ooh. and they showed a lot of penetration there and almost got oh. to the ball, but it's going to go into the end zone. You have to catch that ball. Oh, yeah, I mean, how many times have we seen that at every level? They don't want it. You have to catch that. Oh. If you're going to call a fair catch, you catch it on the fly. Because that, that was stopped, dangerous. If that stops and you get it inside the five, exactly. you, know, you get the ball. I don't exactly. know where they find a punt. They got when they when you always found punt returners, you had guys that were just they weren't scared of anything. Fearless. Fearless. Yep. Exactly. So St. Mary's will start at their 20-yard line, their first possession of the second half. That very familiar running back back there. It looks like he lost the football. Did he lose did the he football? Lose it? it looks like he did because I thought 24 started off with the ball. Maybe, Yeah, and it popped out and 38 ended up with it. Wow. Uh, looked like Dominic Osborne had it, and Caleb Schmidt ended up with it. but <laughs> They managed to get two yards somehow, out of the play. Yeah. Somehow. Must have popped out. right? There. They got lucky there. That ball popped out at that point. Second and eight from the 22. Cody Wallace is going to bring him out with that one wide receiver split out to the left, that full house backfield handoff. Again, it's going to that be flag. Dominic Osborne, but there is another flag on the play. You got to think that's holding at that point, you know. Yeah, you had. Nope, it's a legal shift. So Okay, well, that's, that's, that's not good either for St. Mary's. I don't see either one, you're going backwards. But Caden Ware with a good stop and awareness, they make them force it outside, and they uh, came up, and uh, you had uh, Schnari coming on that side. I know. I know. My legs wobble. I don't know what they're so <laughs> edgy in here. I don't think anybody who's watching could – could care less about your knees bouncing up yes. and down, but boy, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't like it. Well, with the penalty, it'll be third and eight back at their 22 again. Wallace up under center. Fake hand off to Osborne. He's Ooth. going to throw the ball and throw, overthrows the intended receiver there. That's the fullback. 
Colton I don't know. Mabry. I mean, it looks like this kid has a great arm. You know, Osborne, I mean, he just, I don't know where he was throwing to. I don't know if they have a spot where he wants to throw to, but. You mean Wallace? Yes. Well, I'm sorry. Yes. Wallace. I mean, he's a big, strong kid, has a great arm. Well, just, we'll call it third and 14, 13. The board says 14. And the marker says 13. It looks like it's 13 yards, but. Got a – oh, they made the change on the board. That's nice to see. Third and 13 from the 17-yard line. And uh, here's kind of like a wildcat play for the Rough Riders and with some running room down the right sideline over the 40, near the 45-yard line is Trey Moore, the wide receiver who took the wildcat snap, if you will. He's a freshman. And showed his speed there. Did you see that? He yeah. lit it up down the right sideline. Yeah, he's and a it's freshman. a first down St. Mary's from their own 45-yard line. That's so, a little spark that they needed right yeah, now. They, yeah, they just showed a change of pace, a little speed in the backfield, and we weren't ready for it. And good run by Trey Moore. Well, this is a different formation, too. A two-wide receiver slot left. Wallace is going to hand it to Mabry. Mabry trying to turn the corner and met by a host of Redskins. Wow. Tell you what, what a what a defensive stand. I tell you what, Caden Ware sets the edge so well out there. Him and and uh, Rampool on the edges. I mean, ever since they changed that defensive up, they've just been rocking and rolling. Yeah. Zero points last week, and so far zero this week. I mean, they're doing a great job. And they're getting beat up tonight because they're running a lot of off tackle, as St. Mary's always does. Mm -hmm. Well, they had Trey Moore in there. And now they're calling him to the sideline. And maybe Coach Fry is saying, run the same wildcat play you did last time and get us in the end zone. Let's see what happens. Second and 10. And uh, there's all kind of movement down there. And the thing is, you know, uh, you know, when you see Trey Moore come in with that kind of speed, like Denard Robinson from Michigan type looking kid, which just yeah. can run like the wind, you, gotta, you can't just go up and just bring the house to him because – the kid can throw. He's been a quarterback in the middle school and, you know, all the way through. So he can throw the football. So you don't want so to come in and let him hang Wow, they're enough. picking up the flag. And St. Mary is going to call their second timeout here in the third quarter. And we'll keep it right here with 538 remaining here in the quarter. And St. Mary's with a second and 10 from their own 45-yard line. So just like in the in the first quarter, St. Mary's took two timeouts early in the first quarter. And to start the second half, they've taken their second timeout already with 538 remaining in the quarter. So they only have one left down by 14. So if it gets to be a tight game, right? you know, you, ne you never want to give those up early. No. But they're seeing something we're not seeing, obviously. And the, they know their players better than we do. So 538 remaining, as we mentioned, Wapak up 14 to nothing. A snarry four-yard run on Wampak's first possession of the game. And a now 10-yard run on Wampak's second possession of the game and no scoring since. One wide receiver out to the left. It's going to be a toss to the left. There is Mabry over the 50, over the 45, down to the 40-yard line. It's like they brought him back in and they just lit him up. Because we haven't seen him, we haven't seen him this quarter yet, have we? I haven't seen Mabry at all. Wow. You know what I mean? We've seen every other back but him, and he comes in and boom. Well, they tried to get that pass to him over the middle and uh, okay. overthrew him on that. But right, it's a right. first down for the Rough Riders from the Wapak 40-yard line. Mabry again kicks it out to the left side. He saw the hole. He saw that there wasn't a hole, I should say, over tackle. And then turn the corner there a little bit for another gain of five. So second and five for the Rough Riders. Tell you what, man, he is a very patient runner also. And he just and he, he's fast, faster than he looks. I mean, he covers ground. Second and six. Let's call it second and six. Ooh. This time to give Mabry a, a break and give it to Osborne. And Osborne on the quick hitter gets up inside the Wapak 35-yard line. So it'll bring up third and about four yards. Yeah, you had Schnari and uh, Reese Schnari and Truesdale on the tackle with a couple guys in the middle there. 
Got a couple, couple guys jawing there a little bit. 4.31 remaining. Here come the Rough Riders. That full house backfield. Hand off to Osborne, oh, and Osborne oh. gets wrestled down. Wow. And again, it's Caden Ware. Caden Ware was riding that Rough Rider <laughs> to the ground. Yeah. There's no question about he, it. He's so A little bit of a block. size mis yes. mismatch in that one. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. He's got that weird strength to him. Caden Ware, he's long, lean, mm -hmm. and he's a lot stronger than most think. And, I mean, he is hard to block. All right, here we go. It's another big fourth down for the Rough Riders in this game. And they need it here. 3.53 remaining. The clock's running. Fourth and a long two. Here comes Wallace up under center. Mabry's back there with him. Let's see if he gives it to him. Maybe trying to call Wapak off. No, oh, he's going to hand it to Mabry. And Mabry's got the first down. And he's going to take Metzger for a ride. And kudos to Metzger, get, Metzger getting up there. But... And That's hanging it. on for yeah, dear life right there. On. He drove him. He rode him for a minute, didn't he? <laughs> it's another first down for the Rough Riders. Grinding it out here with 3.30 remaining in the quarter. They're on the move. They started back in their 20-yard line. One wide receiver to the right, slot right. Here's a handoff. It looked like he was going to bring the ball up and pass it. That's number seven, Kevin Perry, the senior. And Nelson, Nelson Tuesday on the tackle. Perry with a gain of about two, maybe. And uh, we'll call it maybe just a yard. Second and nine from the Wapak 21. The Rough Riders on the move. They desperately need to get some points on the board. Only two possessions in this quarter so far. Wapak had the ball first, and things kind of stalled out for them. But here come the Rough Riders. Started at their 20. Ooh. Mabry on that dive off of left tackle. And Ware with a shoestring tackle there. Got down and kind of swiped at his foot, and he just fell. I don't think he just fell. I think he fell. But They're going to mark the ball inside the 20. It's going to bring up third and seven. 229 remaining here in the quarter. Rough Riders, as I mentioned, need a score here of some sort. We don't know much about their kicking game at this point, so I wouldn't imagine they're going to try to put three up in this game, the way right. the Fox been running right. and the yeah, way they're yeah. both. The whole third quarter in two yeah. possessions. That's crazy. So they, they've got to get seven here, or at least six. Wallace under center. He's uh -oh. going to fake the handoff. It's going to be a pass. Oh. Breaks a tackle inside the 20 and knocked out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. And there's a little extracurricular happening there. And uh, Rampula actually hit yeah. him. They gave him a good old boost, but he – they hit him in, in bounds, yep. but I a couple St. Mary's guys didn't like it. They're still jawing. They're still jawing They're down still there. jawing, and you're going to have that. Rivalry's going at it here. Uh -huh. Don't hit my quarterback. Well, your quarterback was running. And again, another big fourth down. Fourth and three from the Wapak 15. Tanner Maley. The senior offensive tackle trying to get the crowd stirred up. Wallace under center. Wallace, toss sweep. Mabry to the 15, to the 10. He's knocked out of bounds. And again, St. Mary's has enough for the first down. They'll move the chains. And a nice hard run there by Mabry. Stops the clock with a buck 54 remaining in the quarter. Tell you what, that's some great blocking up front by St. Mary's. They got hat on hat on everybody. And uh, first and goal whoo. for the Rough Riders. This is a good drive for them. They've been chewing up the clock and marching it down the field. Started it at their at their own 20 yard line. Here's Mabry in the H back position. It's going to be handoff to Osborne. Osborne couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Great penetration there by the Redskins. And Truesdale snuffed it out. He got in there and he kind of Osborne cut it back. We but the rest of the Redskins were there. And we haven't heard much from Joey Truesdale today. No. Maybe a couple tackles, and that's it. Yeah, and I'm going to assume this offensive line, they're very good at taking out your middle linebacker, doing a lot of double teams and everything else. No gain on the play. Second and ten. Second and goal, I should say, say from the ten. Osborne, Mabry, Perry, and our Wallace is going to hand it off. And that time it's to Osborne. Uh, with Ware and Truesdale and 
Snari on the tackle. It's going to bring up third and goal from the six. It's a nice long drive for the Rough Riders, and it's kind of wearing on oh. the Redskins a little bit. You can see they got their hands on their hips right now. This has been a horrible drive. The Rough Riders are Redskins grinding it out. Rough Riders. Full house backfield. It's going to be Osborne oh. trying to turn the corner. Oh. Caught at the five, but manages to get at least two yards. They'll mark it down near the three-yard line. The and again, it's going to be fourth down. This time, it's fourth and goal. <laughs> fourth and goal. Here we go, baby. Fourth and about three. Let's see what this Two defense is made of. 19 seconds remaining. The clock running. I think they might just take it down to the end of the quarter and come down to this end of the field. We'll see. They're going to break the huddle with nine seconds. Osborne back there with Mabry. They're going to run a play. It's going to be the reverse. Oh, and he ain't going to get there. He is going to. And he's oh, going to get stopped, but who's maybe get who's pushed gonna forward. Push it? Who, it's going to be. Where is this rugby match going to end? And it's Walpock's ball. My goodness, what a, they were both. That was what you call a fight, a brutal fight right there on the two-yard line. Holy cow. And Walpock came out on top. Wow. wow. The senior, Kevin Perry, looked for a moment that he was just stopped at the line of scrimmage. And then all of a sudden, a rugby match broke yeah. out. A scrum. And he could not they call that a scrum, get it into don't they, the end zone. Well, this scrum has another quarter to go, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> believe it or not. And Walpock will take over on downs, but not until the fourth quarter because we've come to the end of the third here from Wapakoneta. It's the Redskins 14, the Rough Riders nothing. We'll be back right after this. Wow, that was awesome. Jake from State Farm. I really want that personal price plan. So I'll admit it. I'm a bath bomb guy. Dude, you do not need to get that personal. The State Farm personal price plan simply helps you create an affordable price just for you. For real? Who's ready for their jazz bath? No. <laughs> Who is that guy? This is Jimmy from Jimmy Sager State Farm in Wapakoneta, Ohio. Stop in our office at 201 East Auglay Street or call 419-738-7506 or check us out on the web at jimmysager.com for your free, no obligation quote. GA Winsor & Son Company, family owned in the original recycler since 1848, celebrating our 175th anniversary. We're proud to be headquartered in Wapakoneta, and our commitment to the community has never changed. We celebrate the hard work of our employees and provide our customers with the best service available in our industry, all while being environmentally conscious. We are proud of our city and proud of our workers. We are GA Winsor & Son. Visit us on the web at gawinsor.com. Your outdoor fun starts here at Dad's Toy Shop. See us today for all of your favorite remote control, land, air, and watercraft, and so much more. Dad's Toy Shop in downtown Wapakoneta is your one-stop shop for all of your hobby needs. Welcome back. Big Dan Wilson and Josh Bishop for tonight's high school football action between the Wapakoneta Redskins, St. Mary's, Rough Riders. Wow, we just saw a long drive get stopped at the Wapak three, and it's deja vu all over again because that's the second possession that St. Mary's has had in this game where they've gone deep into Wapakoneta territory after long drives and came up empty. Their second possession of the game stopped at the Wapak six. This first possession of the second half stopped at the Wapak three-yard line. Here's Moyer up under center. First and ten for the Redskins. It's going to be Schnari. Schnari! Gives them a little bit of breathing room up over the 10-yard line. Nice run by Schnari and uh, a great tackle by Carter Steinberg. Uh, he's a DB 5'10", 170, and he's had a great game. Yeah, last, that wow. last possession, Dan, I mean, they've, had, they've owned the second and the third quarter. I mean, they just, you know, but no points coming up for it. That's, that's, the, that's the thrill of being a wing T with... No passing. Here's Moyer up under center. Back there is Schnari, and now so it's going to be Schnari, the ball carrier. First down. And he's got enough for the first down up over the 15-yard line with 11-17 remaining in this game, and maybe they're going to take a little bit out of the Rough Rider playbook and do the old three yards in a cloud, cloud of, of dust, dust thing because that, like they need to run the clock a little bit. 
knowing that St. Mary's isn't going to throw the ball much, they need two scores to get back into this game. Right. And uh, not to say anything, but Noah Dixon came up and made a good stop. But St. Mary's is going to have to get d down and dirty here and make Walpuck want to have to punt, get the ball back as soon as possible if they want to get in the game. Pay attention to that uh, play clock because it's, it's going to continue to run all the way down into single digits every play. I would yeah. imagine. Here's Naus, the ball carrier. Did he looked like he almost lost the ball again. Yeah, yeah he's got to kind of get that out in front of him. He's just got to <laughs> hold it high and tight. You know, we're told that from midget football. You keep that baby secure. Yeah, no question about it. Gain of two, bring up second and eight from the 17. And Kyle Perry with a nice tackle. Want to thank our sponsors for tonight's contest. Once again, our friends at GA Winsor & Son, Flex Machine Tools, Minster Bank, and Ted Miller and the crew at Miller's Corral. Good friends. And that and was Kevin Perry. I don't know why I said Kyle Perry, but Kevin Perry on the Two wide receiver set for Moyer, but it's not going to matter. They're going to run the ball to Naus, and Naus met right at the line of scrimmage. Nowhere to run with the host of uh, Rough Riders in there. You got Perry and you got uh, Logan Compton and a couple other boys in there. And, and these are what? guys that are going both ways, yeah, too. They have, they have uh, several guys that, that uh, pull double duty for the Rough Riders, and uh, they've spent a lot of time on the field. So it could be to Wapak's advantage. Right. This is a right. big third down for Wapak right now, third and about seven. Into the game is Ryan Walter at wide receiver. And coming out is Joey Truesdale. So they're they're bringing in their passing formation. This time they split Hauser wide to the right in that trips formation, if you oh. will. Oh. And that was a little confusing. They tried to set up a screen and nothing doing there. As, uh, boy, they, they let the Rough Riders in pretty really fast. quick. Too they fast. Were, yep. So they couldn't do anything with that screen. So St. Mary's I mean, is going to get the ball back. We need a big punt here by Kyle um, Beach. Kyle with a big leg. He could, I could see him sending it way over the head here. He's just got to get a hold of it. Uh, back deep for St. Mary's is Perry and, uh, or I'm sorry, Noah Dixon and Carter Steinberg. Oh, he muffed the punt. Oh, man, he almost got caught there. Let's oh. see if it takes a Wapak bounce. And again, a slow, low snap that just Beach fumbled back there and almost had it blocked. That could have been disastrous for the Redskins. And he caught a break by getting the ball off and getting a Wapak bounce as it goes down to the 40-yard line where St. Mary's will take over first and 10, down by 14. Dan, now I know you played in a big time division and division one at St. Ed's, but now when you go play your when you play your rivalry, is there is it just different? The heart hits harder, everything yeah, just it, you know, of right. course it is. You know it is. Yep. One wide receiver split to the left. And here's where. And again, it's Ooh. gonna be that uh, they're running they're running that little kind of or I should say Trey Moore. They're, yeah. running, they're running that, uh, oh, we got a flag on the play. It's so against St. Mary's uh, holding. That direct snap, and it's going to be declined. Heck yeah. They're trying a little trickeration, but uh, Wapak not falling for it there. And, and don't, then, he just and then Moore looks speed. like he's going, he's going back out of the game. It's like they hit a, <laughs> it's looking like a gnat hit a window right there when he hit where. <laughs> Then he just slid. Steinberg is in. Back comes Wallace into the game. Yeah, Ware has been all over second the place. And, second and 15 from their own 35. 848 remaining in the game. Two-step drop. Quick hitter. Nice throws. Throw. Caught. And almost breaking away was number 10, Carter Steinberg. Steinberg just into the game. It did a little curl pattern there. And... Uh, Boy, really nice throw. Almost broke a tackle. Yeah, I mean. That, but that was a good throw. Yeah, it was a really good throw. I mean, he's it's about time been, to throw yeah, the ball. They kind of have to at this point. If they want to get back in the game, they're running out of time. And that was a really good throw. Pitch and catch right there. Third and five for the Rough Riders. Two wide receivers set. Are they going to pass again? No. It's going to give to Mabry right up the gut. And Mabry with probably three or four yards with the host of I think he ran into big 76. I don't know who you know, that he kid gained, is. He gained three wow. yards there, and they carried him five yards yeah. farther back, maybe seven yards back. 
I don't know so. if anybody knows who Johnny Carnes is, but they did after that. He just lit it up. All Johnny right, Carnes. so here we go. Another big fourth down. We've been saying it the entire game for the Rough Riders. Every series just about, there's a big fourth down. Wallace looks, throws, caught. Oh, He's got the, the first down, breaks the tackle, and rustled down out of bounds. And Matt Pack, or not Matt Pack, but... Uh, uh, Bryson Pack on the tackle. Steinberg on the receiving end there. Yeah, Steinberg, he catching the ball, and he's making people miss. And uh, lucky for our uh, linebacker to get over there and make a nice tackle when Bryson Pack. I mean, we're going to have to watch this. I mean, I, all of a sudden. 7.28 remaining. First and 10 for the Rough Riders. Toss sweep to Mabry. Mabry breaks a tackle. Man. Takes Joey Truesdale with him for about a three-yard ride. Yeah, Boy, Trusdale. that's a lot of Woo. juice between those two. Yeah, that's some muscle there. Isn't it? <laughs> two bowls going at it right wow. there. Wow. And I'll tell you, that is a run. I mean, if you carry it and uh, have uh, Truesdale on your back for five or six yards, you're a, you're a horse. <laughs> Gain of six, second and four. Rough Riders definitely need to get on the board with this possession. The clock is against them right now. Wallace with a play action, going to roll right. There's a flag Ooh. in the backfield, and it looks like it may be holding on the Rough Riders. We'll see. And it is. And I think your quarterback a little shaken up. Well, he's coming back in. It looked like he was shaken up with Sri Snari making a heck of a tackle over there. Well, they're going to back it up here, and that's just going to make it even longer for the Rough Riders because that just takes time off the clock every time you have a play with a penalty. 6.45 remaining in the game. Wapak up 14 to nothing. All their scoring coming in their first two possessions of the game. The Rough Rider defense has stood up the last three possessions of Wapak, that's for sure. But, boy, they've, they've, come, they've come out of this game or out of this last uh -oh. series. Double move. And the long throw down the left sideline is overthrown. I tell you what, Wallace, man, I mean, I don't know. They, they're going to have to change your offense a little bit, but he obviously he can throw the football. And you got some good receivers in Steinburn, and you got uh, a couple Noah Dixon. I mean, they might have to try to air it out because it's not working so well in their favor and, and running this offense. Well, when they look at films uh, over the next couple of days, they're going to see those two long drives that they had on Wapak that stalled inside the 10-yard line, one at the six and one at the three wonder how they did not get into the end zone. Here's Wallace on the play action. He's he was to looking there. to throw it back, and he's going to be tripped up. Joey Truesdale on the tackle. There's that man. We want to call 45's number a, a few times before the end of this game. I would love to see him get in there a few more times. The clock's running now, and again, with the loss, puts the ball back on the rough rider side of the 50. And a long 21 yards to go on fourth. Well, they and call 21. this a fourth and a mile, Dan. That's what they call it. Right? Yeah. Well, right? that's what you got here. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, this quarterback. Pass or run? I got to go say pass. He's Here's Wallace, three-step drop from his 40. Gonna... Airs it out down the right sideline. Is it going to be picked off? It is. Off. Might as well take it. I mean, it, you, the kid can throw the football. Grant just, Jolly on the interception. Nice catch. And what basically turned out to be a punt by the Rough Riders, the Wapakoneta Redskins will take over first and 10. With 5.35 remaining in the game, they're up by 14. We knew it was going to be a hard-fought fought contest. And it just seems like Walpock's offense is kind of stalled yeah, after we, those first two yeah. possessions. We kind of went down and did what we wanted, and we kind of miscued on a couple fires with, uh, trying to hit our receivers. And now I just feel like what we're going to do here is run the ball, run the clock out. Moyer in the shotgun. That's Hauser moving to the left. That usually means run to the left, and that's what they do. It's now so over the 20. Got tripped up, and he's hitting the turf like he could have had a few more yards had he stayed on his feet. Nice defensive stance, nice, nice, nice tackle from uh, 
St. Mary's, Caleb Turner, he uh, just kind of got off his block and hit him in the lower leg and put him down and still got two or three yards, but Caleb Turner's had a good game. Yeah, we'll call it two. Second and eight from the 21. 508 remaining, and the clock is running. That's the most important thing. St. Mary's only one timeout remaining after burning their two in the third quarter. Two wide receiver set. Low snap, Moyer, quarterback keeper, trying to turn the end. Host of yellow Ooh. hats there and not getting much. And, boy, he was hit hard. He he's hot. getting he up got, slow. Well, yeah, he got hit pretty good. I think he's okay, but he's going to feel it in the morning. You know, Caleb's a tough kid, 6'2", 200, or 180. I Looks mean, like he's holding his side down there. Yeah, yeah, he got, he got walloped. Yeah, he's got his hands on his knees. He's trying to suck the air in and get, yeah. get as much air yeah. as possible. And, Hey, Dad, can I hand the ball off here? Yeah. <laughs> That's what he's saying. Yeah. No doubt about it. Ryan Walter back into the game. Joey Truesdale is going to come out. They're going to show pass. Two wide receivers left, but they're going to hand it off. Almost caught in the backfield was Nows. How did he get, out get away? Oh. Yeah, I didn't. Holy ah. mackerel. Tell you what, that's real. Oh, they're gonna they can mark him way back. He's he's about a yard and a half away, isn't he? 347 remaining. 347. Here I tell you what, Walpock goes for Fourth it. Fourth in a yard. They get this first down. They can just they can do the old. You run. really you really want to go for it here? Uh, I don't know if I do. But I think they do. <laughs> I don't know if I do, but maybe they're just gonna try to call them yeah, off sides. Call them off sides, call timeout, punt it. Here we go. And yep, they did. He got they got him. him. Hey. Wow. They got him. Hey. That's well, what you know, last week they called they called that uh, by the quarterback with a head bob on Moyer. They called that, um, you know, motion by the quarterback, and they could have called it on that play because he did that hard count and he bobbed his head. And you got to try not to do bob, that. Yeah. Yeah. That's because. Other officiating crews might call that, and you would have been penalized on yeah. that. But, well, I think Wapak caught a break there. Yeah, they, they probably did a little bit, and he gave that hard, hard count. And I don't know how that goes. Um, First and ten now. Well, it goes by the guy in the white hat and, that's standing and that, behind the quarterback. And he is the, he is the king of all kings on the field. Uh, you got it. First and ten for the Redskins from their 33. They're showing run. And that's what they're going to do. It's going to be a handoff. Snarry, Snarry up to the 40-yard oh, line. Oh, what a run by Snarry. Gets Tap. about three, four more yards because of the Rough Riders as they kind of pushed him they were pushing in the him. wrong direction yeah. there. He had, uh, you had uh, Owen Ott and Perry and, and uh, Logan Compton on the tackle, which they've all had great games, man. They've held Walpock to 14 points tonight. Uh, give it to St. Mary's defense. I think they've kept them in all the games this year, but they just got to get some points on the board in some of these games. 218 remaining, first and 10 for the Redskins. They're going to milk the clock as much as they can. 10 on the play clock as they break the huddle, showing run. Now it's in the backfield with Snari. Moyer is going to hand it off to Snari. Over left tackle, breaks right. a few, and tackled by a host of Rough Riders. You got Compton. Uh-oh. Got a guy down. I hope he's okay. That's Shinari. He's up. He's holding his arm. He said it hurts a little bit. He's just going to rub some dirt on it. Hey, we ain't kidding. This, is, this has been a hard-hitting game, no question about it. Shinari's holding his arm, and he's going to come out. Let's hope he's okay. Right. He's run really good, played really yeah. good defense today. He's not happy either, but they're going to try to take a look at it on the sideline. Clock continues to run with 144 remaining. And Wapak using every second of the play clock to run the game clock as St. Mary's, with only one timeout, probably will elect not to use that one at all. Joey Truesdale with a run. Tackled by a host of rough riders there. Yeah, Truesdale to replace Schnari in the backfield as the fullback. And that's a load coming at you. Joey Truesdale, 220 pounds running at you. He's built like a warrior, isn't he? Yep. 
625-pound squat in high school, Dan. Mm. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, it is. Third and two from the 49. Doesn't really matter much because we're under a minute. And let's see if Wapak elects to take a knee, if they can take it down. No, they're going to run it. They're going to run it. One wide receiver off to the left. Moyer under center. Hands it. You know who. Joey Truesdale. He had uh, Carter Steinberg on the tackle, and I think that's the game. I don't think we should have to run. Oh, we do stop the clock on the first down. They're going to fire it back up after they move the chains. I think they As the ball's here. marked at the 46 of St. Mary's. And that's going to be about it. They have to run one more play, it looks like, or they'll take a penalty. But they'll, take, they'll run one more play. I think they call this the play called victory formation. Right, Dan? Well, I would certainly call it that tonight. Let's put it that way. As Moyer is going to take the knee with 13 seconds remaining, and that's going to bring us to the end of our contest here tonight. Hard-hitting, tough cross-county rivalry football game doesn't get any better than this. The Wapakoneta Redskins 14, the St. Mary's Rough Riders nothing. Wapakoneta will improve their record to 2-2. Two and two. St. Mary's falls to 0-4. Oh I'd like to thank our sponsors once again for tonight's contest. Merritt Real Estate, Allen Davis Insurance Agency, Elevation Chiropractic, Miller's Corral, Minster Bank, Flex Machine Tools, GA Winsor & Son, State Farm Insurance, Home Savings Bank, Auglaze Audiology RV Kill Service, and or uh, Kill RV Service, I should say, and Dad's Toy Shop. Your final thoughts before we go. Ah, Dan, I thought Walpock played a really good game. I thought they came out and established the run, the pass. They did. They they got the game. They they started the game and they they got uh, the momentum going early. They kind of took it took advantage of St. Mary's. They were out of spot. They just kind of took it to St. Mary's in the first half. But St. Mary's made adjustments in the uh, halftime. They came out and played really good defense. We couldn't do much on offense, but our Wapak's defense played a great game all night. Uh, St. Mary's had some really good long drives and came up short on fourth downs. And yeah, it was, it, it was, was tough. It was tough for St. Mary's. Tough to make those long drives and stall inside the Wapak 10. Their second possession of the game, and then here in the second half, marching 77 yards down to the Wapak three and coming up empty. But that's the way the ball bounces, and tonight it bounced the Redskins' way, and they're going to walk out with a victory 14 to nothing. For my tag team partner, Josh Bishop, for Isaac and Diana Sell, and good old Jack the Hag, the Sea Hag Hagerman, <laughs> doing our videography service from down on the field. I'm Big Dan Wilson. Join us every week for high school football action here on TSC. Our final score tonight, Wapakoneta 14, St. Mary's nothing. Have a good night, everybody. Tonight's high school football action on TSC has been brought to you by the following. Merritt Real Estate. Allen Davis Insurance Agency. Elevation Chiropractic. Miller's Corral. Minster Bank. Flexarm. GA Winsor & Son. State Farm Insurance. Home Savings Bank. Auglaze Audiology. Kill RV Service. Dad's Toy Shop. And Wilson One Communications. TSC has streaming television services available in the Gigahood. Delivered over our blazing fast fiber internet. Choose TV to fit your family's needs. Enjoy our basic package with all the local channels. Or try the extended basic package with sports, news, music, and family entertainment. Download the Your TV Green app and use your Amazon Fire Stick to start watching today. Still need internet? Go to www.telcerco.com and choose the Connect Me button to complete the fiber connection form and we'll take care of the rest.